Hello guys, in this tutorial we will be quickly going over how to make uh, tile based levels in Unity using um, 2x, uh, like 4 bananas or something, and a bundle of 6, and then this tiled map editor and tiles Unity. So download these two things and gather your supplies, and then yeah, after you download and install it, we want to go into tiled and create a new map. So you want the uh, you want the orientation to be orthogonal, the uh, this to be this right here, right down. It works, and then you want to set the tile size to the size of the tiles in your tile set. So in this case, the tile set that I'm going to be using is 16 by 16, and then the width and height should be whatever you think is good. So okay, now we've got a level here, and then we want to import our tile set, and we do that by going down here and say new tile set, and the source should be the tile set here, and the tile width should be 16, tile height should be 16. Because you know that's the size of the tiles, and margin is zero because there's no margin and no spacing, and okay. There we go. Now we can see our things right here. So maybe we should show the grid. Good. Okay. So let's create a little level here. Um. So you basically just pick uh, whatever tile you want to use, and then use this tool right here to to, you know, paste it in. This looks good. And then we want to have some slopes, maybe. I'm not sure if our character can handle slopes, but we're going to see. One more slope. Pick this right here. Just zoom in. There we go. And we want this. And this wall right here. Good, and let's just add a normal wall right here. Good, and then like that. And let's add some uh, dark things here. Let's do this. Fill some space in, you know. Uh, maybe we can make the brush bigger. I don't know. Can we? Oh shit, what did I do? God damn it, please. There we go. Oh yeah, yeah, you can actually do that. So, and it's, uh, you have to right click and then you can select uh, a bigger portion of something that you have already made. And then let's just do everything faster. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Nice. Okay, we got a little level here. Let's just remove some things that we did. We got a little level, but a little level. Uh, we haven't got um, what do you say? Any colliders. So let's do that. Uh, so you have to go to view and then tile collision editor and pick whatever tile you want to add a collider on and we want to start uh, start with this and then maybe zoom in a little bit and then just drag like this so it fits nicely and then we can continue to another one and then we want to pick the polygon tool right here and come on What's this? I want to use the polyline there. There it is. And drag it down here. There. Just make it fit nicely. There, and then right click when you're done. Good. So now we got ourselves a collider for the slope. And we need one more for the wall. Or oh, two more. There we go, and then the other wall here, and then we're good to go. Nice. Do we need more? 
Did we use some other? No, I don't think so. It's good. Nice. Mm. So now save your map in your project. In this case, in a uh, folder called time lapse. And let me just overwrite this one. Yes, there we go. And then we want to import it into Unity. So let's do that. We're going to use that, uh, do it by uh, using Tile to Unity. So you want to import the Unity package to your project first. And you can do that by going to import Unity uh, package. And I have already imported it, so just import it. And then we've got this folder right here. Very nice. And you can see there's some stuff here that I've already fiddled around with, but ignore that. So now let's use this tiled unity. So open up the tiled, uh, uh, you know, the map you just saved, which is in tutorial folder here. Tutorial map. <coughs> uh, yeah, so we got it here and the export to should be in your assets in the tile to unity uh, folder that you just imported uh, with the unity package and then click here tile to unity uh, txt open and then we want to click on the big ass export button there we go nice so now you should see some things up here right here and it did so actually it's because I've already got this map uh, I already did it but it should there should appear some new things, but it just reloaded this right here. So go to your prefabs and then you can basically just import it into your scene. And here it is. Let me just show you how to import it. You drag it in. Good. Okay, so now let's scale it down because it is way too big. Uh, there we go. Still way too big. Maybe should maybe we shouldn't do it in this level. Let's create a new scene. Yep. There we go. Tutorial map. Let's get it down. Okay. Um. Let's import the player. I think I got a prefab here. Yeah, player. It's right here. And maybe this should be no. I don't think so. Let's get it down some more. It's still too big. Is it still too big? I don't know. Let's see. I guess it's fine, isn't it? No, too big. Too big. Is this good? Let's see. Let's see. I guess it's fine. Looks looks good. And you can see that we got our colliders here. Um, apparently, the colliders are too high for some reason, and the collider here didn't. What is this? Tell to you, please. Maybe it is a little bit messed up, but you can always. Go into your colliders here, collision, and find the the things that are wrong. You can do this. And then you can maybe drag this up here, make it nice. Just just make it so it looks good. There we go. Looks fine to me. Good, and then we can we can uh, import the camera. Here it is, and we can set the the you know the bounce. Uh, so we want to set a bound here. Set minimum, and then we want to set the maximum up here. Set max. Good, and then we want to follow the player. So drag the player here. Uh, and maybe we also want the uh, the canvas and stuff 
with the UI and all that so you can basically set up the scene you're going to do it uh, damn it this should be the hard UI image yeah, this is it nice okay let's play we got two cameras because of course to delete this one and let's see we walk around we walk around in our tar base game it's very nice I hope you you learned something I hope you got an idea of how to use that program and let's see we can walk up slopes I'm surprised cool so that's awesome I didn't actually know that <laughs> to be honest but uh, but cool you got some tile based things here so thank you guys for watching I hope it was helpful and see you in the next one